Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, I am recording this on March 16th, Saturday. Uh, it will be aired on Monday, most likely. Um, and I've just read on the um, Rogue Tech uh, Discord forum that they're working on the 1.5 patch. And it looks like, from a couple of screen grabs that I've seen, um, that they're redoing the layout of the mechs. So... Uh, I've heard a rumor that we might have to store our mechs and then re-bring them into um, the bays and re-outfit them with everything um, in order to get them updated to the 999 version, which they're bringing out shortly, I would imagine. Uh, it looks like the 1.5, I guess, 999 version that works on 1.5 isn't 100% stable yet. I think there's a few people that are using it. Uh, don't quote me on this because I haven't actually gone and tried it and downloaded anything. Uh, once again, I'm not a person that does beta testing, so I would rather have it be stable before I switch over. Um, so yeah, so that's actually kind of really exciting. However, if that means we have to store our mechs and bring them back in, uh, we got a lot of stuff here that we're going to have to like re-outfit, and we don't have the sea bills currently for that. So I'm thinking today's episode, I'm going to go a little longer today. I'll probably pull off three missions today uh, if I can. We've shifted planets. Let's have a look at the star map here because I wanted to get into Ghost Bear territory to pick up some more uh, clan gear before it looks like, you know, these guys finish off the clans here. Ghost Bear is going to disappear from this area relatively soon. So Ghost Bear still owns this planet. Uh, we've got a few contracts that we can do here. It's a three skull planet, so our secondary lance might not be able to engage too much here today, uh, but our first primary lance definitely will be. Um, we may switch out pilots depending on if someone gets wounded or not, but what we're going to do is work on getting some sea bills generated. So if we can get some clan XL engines, Anything that we can sell for a lot of sea bills. Uh, I don't know if we'll go full salvage. We've got 28 days till the end of the month. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see how that works. Uh, going into the mech base, I think I made some small minor adjustments to the mechs. I can't even remember now if, what I did on the, my way over here. I know we repaired a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't even remember. But uh, if things look a little different when we're in combat, that's the reason why. I think I looked at trying to drop talons into this, but we had the jade talons, which are better. Um, yeah, so there isn't much that's different. Um, so let's have a look at the contracts and see what we can't take. Our pilots are with, gain a few skills, so I raised some of those up. Um, and I've sold off a lot of stuff to get things repaired here. So... Um, We've got clandestine research. We want to go against the clans to try and pick up some clan gear. So lost contract. This was Outworldian forces, covert surveillance, pirate facility, stealing as a form of flattery, um, pirate research facility. Don't know if we're going to find anything against the clans here that's going to be... Um, defendant from forces moving the lands. So we have no idea who's moving in on this base. Defend base, supply interdiction, ghost bear logistical convoy. We could probably do this one. Let's start with this guy today. It's a three and a half skull. We've been running actually fairly well against missions like this. So, and it is against the clan, so I'm not. I'm going to go full salvage on this. I think we can. I think we can milk some sea bills off this one. This should be enough for drop and repair costs. I think, depending on the mechs that we run into. So let's flush out our secondary lance here. The secondary lance I think ran fairly well last time. Once we have our pilots in with better skills, I think it's going to run even better. So let's get these guys loaded up here. Um, Baba Yaga, we want. Where are you here? Where are you here? Sunflower. Red Comet. Megasaur. And Griffin is the melee. Yeah, I just wanted to double check. Alright, let's deploy and get this done. Okay. Alright, this map's pretty good. Not liking the... Against the clans, I don't like this map, but uh, we'll see how it goes. we got to get up to here. Kind of got a hill here, and the convoy comes right along here. 
kind of, depending on where you are, puts you in a position of fire from a lot of their enemy units. So depending on how you do this. Um, so let's just begin to move up. Um, make a sword first so that you're out of the way. Uh, I don't think I want to go that far yet. I want to stay together here. So one of the things I saw in the screen capture for the, for the new uh, mech loadouts and layouts was that they included um, um, upper and lower leg actuators and foot actuators in the actual legs. So if you're, you guys ever played the tabletop version and you, you've seen the printouts for the mechs, there's six slots in the legs, not two. Um, and basically it's like hip, upper, lower, and foot actuators for the mech. So you can actually hit each one individually uh, and damage it. Um, so it looks like they've added all those in, meaning if you guess if you crit those, there's a good chance that uh, you can um, damage the movement of the mech, which is great. Um, it kind of puts it back into... Nice, what do we got here? A Nova, Stormcrow, Indra Transports. Okay, those are good. Not going to bother firing. Don't know if they can see us yet. Kit Fox. Okay, looks like we're in our realm of safety here, unless they get reinforcements, which will come from behind us. So I think I want to take this hill. Um, sometimes I'll pull forward and, and fire straight to stop them from getting past us, but I think I want to take the hill. Transports aren't that fast, so. Anyways, as I was saying, um, so yeah, I guess if you damage an actuator, this is my guess of what they're going to do. If you damage an actuator, um, it will begin to reduce the movement of the mech. So now, rather than the only way to slow it down is to take a leg off, uh, if you get some crits in the legs, you might be able to destroy actuators, which are going to um, um, make it difficult for the mech to move. Which will be great against assault mechs and stuff. Like, if you think about it, if you're worried about assault mechs closing on you in a battle, just fire at their legs, even if you can't take it off, with uh, weapons that can do uh, um, critical hits, and hopefully crit the legs so that you can destroy the movement rate of the of the uh, mechs. Yes, Commander. Uh, can we get eyes on? We cannot with you. So, I keep forgetting how slow you are. Oh, we can. But we won't be able to see them. Uh, let's get you here. Can't do much this turn. I'm just wondering if we can get Megasaur in to um, get a quick step on somebody. I want to get the missiles up. Well, yeah, up here. Full now, Sunflower should be able to get... Uh, these guys haven't gone yet. Um... Let's reserve this. Waiting for the right move. And again. Reserving action. They're not doing anything. I don't know if they're reserving or that they can't actually move anymore. Shit, we can't get uh, perfect eyes on, but we can shoot this guy. So let's do that. Uh, fire everything. Let's see the medium pulse off. We're having a hard chance to hit with that. That'll save a little bit of heat. Um, let's leave them both off. Keep our heat neutral. Okay, they don't have too much armor. Um, how aggressive do we want to be here? I think we want to be this kind of aggressive. Um, I don't think... Yeah. Big job of lip. This might not be the best way to do it, but once we come over the hill with everybody else, Phoenix Hawk, Kit Fox, Nova, Stormcrow. So it's like, yeah, into transports. They probably got blocked and couldn't move. So let's fire on this guy. We'll leave the A pod off. We don't need the tag. Uh, we don't need the chaff on this guy. Want the acid gun on him? Let's leave that for Max. Nice. So I'm sure they're doing it with the arm actuators too, so each one has got a slot. Um, I know I saw the head has got life support now. Um, so there is a life support, um, two life support slots apparently. Looks like the head might have six slots in it in total. Uh, so that'll be kind of cool. So let's shoot this guy. How's he making out here? 
Not a lot left on the front. So, uh, do I want to go overkill on this? Let's leave the acid off. Let's leave these two serums off, and we'll hit them with these guys and fire. Not enough, eh? Oh, really? We hit most of the side. I should have fired them all. I'm just worried about ammo with these clan mechs, but I think we'll be all right. I'm just going to unload everything from now on. Not going to win the game that way. We need to find a way to get a mask into this thing. Um, can we hit the other guy? 18% with the plasma. Doesn't really matter which one. If we get lucky here, great. If we don't, we don't. Let's just fire the... Oh, 23. Okay. Firing. Taking the shot. Yeah. Can't win it all. I missed. You missed? You sure did. Don't seem so happy about it. Wow, Megasaur goes on one? So, uh, there was a comment, and I'm sorry, I, I'm going to have to start apologizing. I'm not going to know everybody's name. I, I want to attribute the comments to certain people, but I can't remember everybody's name. Um, some of the people that have been commenting from, like, earlier on in the series, I, I do remember. I'm very, very bad with names. But somebody had mentioned something about... Um, um, they were thanking me for the uh, notes on the ECM and uh, the power of using ECMs on all your mechs. I think now that ECMs don't actually supply any, um, they don't actually supply any evasion. Um, they're, they're super useful in the fact that it's keeping the enemy from being able to see you and targeting you. It's hard to know like, if you can detect them, it's hard to know if they can detect you. But the way you can really tell, like this guy here, he's moving back probably because he can't see anybody. Like he can't see these guys. That's my guess. Um, Commander. and it's making like, I don't know whether it's the AI making an irrational decision or what exactly it is um, no shooting. I gotta kill this vehicle before he gets behind us um, I, I don't know exactly what that is but um, let's go this route let's make sure we kill him um, but I've been fighting especially with my clan mechs um, in Jade Falcon Freeborn, they have in particularly um, been in positions where normally I would have been fired at, but the enemy just doesn't fire at me. Um, and I, my only conclusion is, is that they can't see me because of the ECMs. It's just, yep, here they come. They're back here. So we need to push hard now. we got to push this way. So my only yeah my only conclusion was is that they can't see us right they just can't see us why can't I shoot the vehicles what the hell um so yeah if you've got long range weapons the huge benefit I gotta sprint I can't just let's do this um if you've got long range weapons and good pilots and stuff. Um, definitely the ECMs are a huge bonus uh, but don't forget to use things like Beagle probes, stuff like that that gives you more sensors to be able to detect the enemy uh, that's the one thing you can't forget about um, I don't really have a lot of Beagle probes but um, a lot of the cockpit mods like the sensor mods give you multiple, chan multi multiple sensor checks which I think is a huge bonus so keep an eye out for items that are going to give you the multiple sensor checks um, because if you notice some of my games where I've got a guy standing there and he doesn't detect anything and then another mech moves up and does um, let's see hang on a minute I gotta figure out how we're gonna kill this guy here let's move into here um, I'm gonna finish this guy up if we can That's a, yeah let's just dump let's go like this just in case we miss wow that's a lot of heat um, I'm going to leave the medium pulses off, leave the X pulse on, and fire. Um, 
So yeah, you want to have your probes so that you and your sense anything that gives you bonus sensor checks just to be able to see them before they see you. So it's it, the way they've set the game up now it really forces you to think about what it is you're doing before you do it. Um, let's go with the acid gun. Let's get these guys back on for now. Um, the tag I don't think is going to fire. No, it won't. Uh, but that's fine. We don't need the A pod on this one because he's in the trees. We're not going to get the most use out of it, but we'll move in and attack this guy. So yeah, just think about what it is loadout-wise you want to do. ECMs, anything that's going to give you good sensors. And then for your pilots, um, going up to pilot in tree now I find is, uh, even if you don't have a melee mech pilot, is a lot more valuable now than it used to be. Um, I used to always treat, choose um, uh, gunnery and then I would choose tactics just for the for the um, the first skill that gives you minus 50% critical hits it gives you wow look at this guy firing away it gives you um, increased resolve gain but I always take it for the minus 50% critical hits um, now it's um, ace pilot like piloting it's way more important now because you all your mechs have got way less evasion so it's more important to be able to um, fire and maneuver and then maneuver and fire. So you can do firing lines where you just kind of move up, fire at the enemy, and then fire at the enemy again and move back. So you get two shots at them generally and they only get one at you. Now I generally don't play that way a lot. My play style is generally really aggressive. I like to get in and brawl it up. That's just the way I like to play. Um, but if you're playing a more reserved game, a more longer, cautious game, that's definitely the way to go. You can run with a lot lighter mechs against heavier mechs and actually do really well. Gonna moonwalk it back, are ya? LBX5, probably. So these guys probably have a lot of long range weapons, which is why they're, they're not engaging right away. Uh, now, you can melee this guy, so let's do that. Um, let's go all sidey on them. Actually, you know what? We can do with we can do more with just the flamers. Let's get into I guess here. That way we're not turning our yeah like that. Confirmed. Not turning our side or giving even better chance for a back hit. Let's go with this and fire everything. We should be able to kill him. I think. Yeah, there it is. Down to one vehicle, but I want that Shadow Hawk first more than anything. Um, this guy's easily steppable next turn. We're going to step on him. Well, we might so we'll see how it goes. We could probably flamer him. Trying to make me unstable. What you don't realize is I'm already unstable. Mentally unstable. You think? Uh, vigilance, please. Nah, uh, it's not the left side we want to keep turn. It's the right side. Why? Well, I keep thinking it's the left side for some reason. Let's move in this side. Um, we got another Lance of Mechs coming up, so let's get rid of this guy as fast as we can. Uh, I'm gonna drop some acid on him just in case. Firing. Yeah, we didn't get him. A lot of damage though. Should be able to take the vehicle this round. I think what I'll do is I'll get the flame hawk on it. Um, we need to kind of find a way to get a mask into this flame hawk. I'm thinking. That the plasma cannon. Well, this is the Kit Fox. This is the Nova Storm Crow. Kit Fox is over here. Um, do we want to go this route? No, I think we need to be in here. Um, God, I hate to ruin the um, salvage on this Nova because we do have Nova parts, but it needs to go away. So let's attack him. Let's make the Storm Crow worry that he's got a mech behind him now. 
Kick him in the head. Ah. Okay, nice. Wait, the tag did go off. I thought it wasn't going to go off. Alright. Three ERs gone. Somebody's not having a good day. So they're going to have probably four mechs. Yeah, see? Forcing him to move out of there. He can't stay there. I think we'll use the Wolverine against the vehicle. Let's bring the Flame Hawk in against the uh, Stormcrow. Kid Flox is moving for a flanking maneuver. It's not going to help him. We're going to shut that guy down, I think, this turn. These guys are still taking their time. Uh, yeah, let's um, take care of this problem. Not really a problem, but let's take care of it. Uh, and I'm going to turn your weapons back on so we don't forget we have them. And let's attack. Confirmed. Oh, you serious? Wasn't that like a 91%, 97% chance to hit? Yeah, no, I can see that, but that's just, you're wasting a mech now. we got to step on him with this guy. Or we're going to flame the crap out of him, probably. 125, 100 on the sides, 70 on the rear. Can't really get a rear attack in now. Damn it, you screwed everything up. Well, we could kill him with the whacker, I think. Next turn. This guy's going to get up too, right? Yeah, here they come. Stormwolf. I think we've got Stormwolf parts. Pretty sure we do. We need to get away from here now. Vehicle goes on 19. we got to kill this guy. So let's attack him from the side. Um, if we hit the front, we're not killing it. Not going to kill it from the side either. So we need to attack... Risky move, but we're going to do this. Get him from behind. And... Yes. Oh! We cannot believe we missed with that. That plasma cannon, maybe we pull it off. I like the idea of it, but it's just not hitting like it should be. It's like missing so many times. I know it's got a um, recoil on it. We hit the side. I know it's got a recoil on it, but even still, it's like... It's just becoming a hindrance now. Six, se seven tons with ammo that we could use to do other things with. Like having a mask. That's a lot of back damage. Like having a mask system put in. We could put a mask and two more flamers on it. We'd be a lot faster. And even at that point, mask and two flamers is like, what, five tons? And... We can pull the fluid gun out and ammo. There's two tons right there. So that's four tons left over. You could We could put an SRM-6 and uh, Inferno ammo. Report an internal damage. Yeah, I know. It was a risky move, but we had to take it. Need to kill that vehicle. Um... He shut down, eh? Uh, we've already got acid on him. We got the rounds. Let's use them. Enemy mech destroyed. Waiting for orders. You let the Nova get away once. Don't do it twice, please. I know I shouldn't be critical. I'm not really being critical of her. Hope we can salvage that. It was just a hope for one shot kill. Uh, God. 
This guy's going to go before us. Okay. Sure. Waiting for orders. Let's get our stability back. Jesus, it's not even that's better. Got it. Full speed, no target. Well, yep. here's a bit of heat for you. Oh, there we go. 75 damage in the plasma gun. You're done. I'm going to pick him apart for salvage. We should be able to kill this guy too. We're going to come around up here probably and shoot him in the side. We've got enough weapons on the Wolverine to be able to take care of that problem. You coming back or what are you doing? Yep. Coming back. Kind of. Light damage, Commander. Okay. So this is more like it. I was hoping... So here's the thing. Um, I checked my settings to see what was going on, to see why the... the, the uh, um, why we were getting such light missions. My only thing that I can say is... We don't need these on. The only thing I can say is that perhaps... Um, I had set my um, difficulty to one skull um, or to one which was half a skull different difficulty now I don't I thought that was just a, in the way it generates contracts on a planet because I wanted it to be basically close right so that we were finding missions that were very similar to our level um, in Jade Falcon Freeborn and then I forgot so I set it to two now I don't know if that makes a difference with the mechs that are in the actual battle or not. It, like This is three and a half skulls. I was expecting to find heavier defense, but we do have reinforcements coming in, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think these guys are probably mediums and lights as well. Whoa, that's a nice jump. I mean, you're jumping in to suicide yourself, but it was a nice jump. A couple of nice back attacks, though. I'm going to need to, like, keep my eye open for that. We should all walk around with our backs to each other. Another Kit Fox. Good thing I went for four salvage on this. Now, I don't really have enough parts of a clan mech to be able to generate a full mech, so I am going to just murder these guys with extreme prejudice. I guess this guy's going now. Yep. So, time for extreme prejudice clan murdering techniques has begun. You guys might fight honorably, but we sure as hell don't. Everything's straight in this guy's back. Let's see what the plot... Actually, let's go this route. It's about time. It's about time. Full full scale attack, center torso back, firing. 112 points of damage with the plasma cannon. Okay, I'm leaving that on there. Definitely worth it if you got a mech like that overheating. And if we're going to be punching above our weight, we're definitely going to be hitting hard like that. So we're going to have to leave it on, I think. As much as I want the mask. I mean, the other way to do it is to pull a couple of flamers, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. Either that, I mean, we could lower the weight of the engine, too, slightly, and throw the mask in. But I don't know if I got an engine that's like three tons lighter than the one we have now. I think we got a 270 or 275 in here right now, or maybe a 280. I'm taking heavy hits, yeah, I know, we all are. Just, just chill. That guy's going to die in a minute. Unless he jumps back. Nope, he's deciding that he wants to commit suicide and he shut down oh he avoided it sorry yes commander um yep Position confirmed. let's get our stability back they're doing a lot of stability damage to us uh we're gonna throw up warlord 
Let's target this guy on his side. Oh, he did shut down. Sure. Um, let's go after him. Firing. Let's make him a little easier to hit. Can you get Mega sort of chase down this kid fox, I think? Hmm. No. I need yeah, you back over here. Bring that generous ECM back this way. Let's target this guy, leave the A-pod off. Uh, let's use the chaff, but we don't need the other one. Fire. Acids on him. Solid connection on that one. Okay, guys. We need him gone, so, uh... He's already got acid on him. Don't have to worry about that. Let's just get rid of him. Firing. Actually, we won't want to warlord it. Nah, we just fire. God, I love that. Don't know how fast these guys are. Uh, I don't know if it was a full lance or if it was just two guys coming in. That's an interesting question. All right, firing. Looks like we got a tag on him anyway. Yeah. Don't think we narked him though. No, he got all the narks with his AMS. Yeah, well, sorry buddy, but uh, let's remove you from battle too. Yeah, fire everything. Oh, not quite enough. Oh, you've got the AMS too. Took out 10 of the missiles. That's like 140 damage he saved himself from. Well played, my friend. Well played. Let's chase these guys down. I don't think they've got any more than just these two re re reinforcement mechs. Oh uh, yeah, dump everything into them. Yeah, you got all of them. Do we have enough dead fire? We got 28 shots, 28 missiles, so we're going to fire them all. Good luck blocking all those. We're going to lose a lot of XL engines here, but um, that's okay. We needed to get through this. Let's use the A-pod because we have we can now. It's going to do two points damage a shot. Oh. No acid? No. Yeah, we need to do something about the speed. This mech is useless in this lance unless we can get it faster. I hate to say it, but honestly, that plasma cannon is the only thing I can think of at the moment to help it with speed. If anyone's got any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section down below. I don't know what else to do. Let's take these off, fire the rest. There we go. Nicely done. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 35%. Made a nice little chunk of change there. A little bit of damage to the Flamehawk's arm. We took a lot of back damage, uh, mostly because we got caught out of position. Um, the one thing I guess I, I got to pay more attention to when fighting Clan Max is not getting sucked into their midst too early. They've got good jumping, good speed. They can get around behind us really, really quickly. Um, yeah, we took them all out pretty handily here. Let's go down. 
let's see what kind of stuff we have before we look at uh, weapon systems. All these ATM nines look kind of nice. Uh, Oh God, Clan ER medium pulses. Ah, I'm gonna throw them in. Clan plasma cannons. This is the same weight, though, right? It is. Does more heat damage, though. Uh, streak sixes, Clan sixes, um, Clan exchanger, Clan heat bank. Doesn't look like there's any engines. So we, yeah, we pretty much cored everything, unfortunately. See so light active probes bonus sensors, two to sensor check made by the unit. So these are the kind of things you want to keep your eyes open for. Definitely going to need them. Slick Suite's the same kind of idea. Um, although it doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't have the extra sensor checks, but it does have injury resist and initiative for all Lance pilots, which is good too. Clan Watchdog Suite. Um, going to take that, because that could be a good substitute. I think we've got a, um, a Warfare Suite on the flame hawk so we might be able to swap it out with this gain a little bit of weight that way maybe by lowering the engine slightly we can fit in the the uh, mask system it's going to add to heat too so i'll have to keep our eye on that um advanced sensor jammer low tier ecm don't need that um so the medium er pulses i think will definitely be a good upgrade um heat bank also as well Minus nine heat per turn, one ton, two slots, maximum. Yeah. Exchanger, we don't have any left, I don't think. But these heat banks are a little rarer than the exchangers. So we'll take that with us. A lot of lighter engines, plasma can, I, I don't know. Medium approved heavy laser. Deal superior damage. And have the inherent laser accuracy, but are volatile and explode for 25 when destroyed. Mm. I think I'd still rather go with the medium pulse. That's an all or nothing. Laser AMS is I want to get into using at some point. You see, you, you saw in that last battle there how well they did, how many missiles they, they took down. The problem is, is they generate a lot of heat. So while you're stripping down missiles, you're also generating heat, right? So 35% chance to take down a missile, fire up to 15 shots, but it generates eight heat per shot. So if you take down 10 missiles, you're generating 80 heat. At least that's how I'm reading it. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, that's the uh, thing you gotta worry about. You could shut your mech down defending yourself. You wouldn't be able to fire that turn. You'd have to run and, and get your heat back. At least that's how I'm reading it. I could be wrong, but that's how I'm reading it here. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section down below, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. All right, so let's go this route. K2 AP Goss Rifles, a couple B pods. I think these are better than the A pod, although they weigh a little bit more. Um, we got the we did get the Heavy Clan Medium ER Small Lasers. Heat sinks, hand, yeah, we need hands. Clan double heat sink, clan active probe. Okay, not bad. Took that from Ghost Bear, Class Scorpion. Okay, uh, 115,000. Not too bad. 31 days for repairs, though. Uh, let's manage our tasks a bit here. We want to get the Griffin back and the Flame Hawk back first. Um, no, wait. We want to get. Wolverine and Flamehawk back first. Bushwhackers, 10 days, man. Uh, here's why. Um, I want to get... Um, okay, let's just check here. I want to get those couple things installed here just to see how they're going to function. Uh, so the Shadowhawk, let's repair this. Um... What do we get damaged here? Um, don't know what we lost there. It's not going to cost anything, so no big deal, but don't know what we lost. So we got 280 engine. I wonder if we can switch, swap out for something a little lighter. Now I thought we had... We don't. We got the sheath beacon in the head. That's what I did to lower the weight. Uh, 
Hmm. Um. What do we have engine wise? We got a 250. It's 15 and a half tons. This guy is 19. So if we go this route, it's one day. Then we can get in. Uh, where's the mask system? Right here. We want it on this side because it is volatile. Put it with the case. 20% um, weapon heat generated. That's terrible. So let's have a quick look at what else we have here. To, uh, that's actually pretty good. Although I don't think um, that's accurate. Let's drop a triple strength Myanmar. Yeah, we can't because of the mask. Durr. You'd think I'd figure that out by now. Talons would be nice too, but because we are using this guy a little bit for melee, but not, not often. Um, where? We got half a ton. So cooling wise, I wanted to save, um, yeah, I wanted to save the, the, uh, the, um, what's it called? The, uh, ah, brain fart. I'm trying to think of two things at once. The heat bank for the Wolverine, cause I got a plan for the Wolverine and we're going to need this heat bank for it. Um, so if we're going to do this, I think we need to pull out, I think we need to put another heatsink cooling pod in here. I know that seems like a huge difference, but I don't think it's calculating the mask. It might be, but I don't think it is. So let's confirm this. It's two days, 78,000. It's not a lot. Has too many internal heat sinks. One of zero. Oh, right. Yeah, right, we gotta take this out. Uh, and then we do need to put a heat sink in. Wait, what? Oh, I can't. Wait, why can't I? Oh, because I don't have enough dirt. Uh, do that. And then this. We're on a double heat sink, so we're gonna have to get some more. Gotta put that on my list. So that should be the same. So let's see what kind of speed we can generate out of this guy. Now we've got the mask system oh. on. Um, so let's get the Wolverine back. So the Wolverine, I want to put on the two clan pulse lasers. Um, sheet metal can have a party. At least she's not jinxed anymore. That's good. Yeah, she hasn't been with us long enough to get her VIP quarters yet. Okay, so let's go to the bays. That's the kind of thing you earn. Mockingbird, definitely VIP quarters. You know, um, Megasaur, definitely VIP quarters. Like all my first lamps would definitely get a VIP quarters. They've earned it now. So let's refit this. Um, oh, I'll have to also figure out. Somebody mentioned a little while back how many kills Meg, uh, um, Mockingbird has. I'll have to go and check that out today when I record that episode. So uh, let's refit this real quick. I know, sorry guys, it's taking a while, but I want to make sure our lances are running at peak performance here. So we're going to pull out the large pulse, I think, and uh, we've got only four. Ah, crap. Maybe we leave it. I'm going to have to leave the large pulse in, I guess. Um, so I'm so used to playing with clan mechs in the other series that I keep forgetting we don't have the same ability here. So let's put in the two... Let's split them up, one on each side, and put the medium X pulse on this side. Heat efficiency is going to drop like an MFR. Um, I think we got tons of pulse. Let's pull the large pulse off. For now, let's try, because that was what, 40 heat? 40 heat. Let's try an ER laser. 
BR large and see if we can get some pinpoint shots in and then we'll have room plenty of room for um, I'll put on a heatsink cooling pod. I mean, the other thing to do is pull the LRM5 off of NARC, but I'm liking the fact that we're getting more bonus to hit when these guys are shooting. So we want to put in the heat bank, right? 96, 96. If we want to run super cool, we don't have case on this guy. Uh, yeah. Let's try that. That should give us a lot more. Yeah, it gives us a bonus there. So let's try this. Two ER medium pulses at 560 meters. ER large laser, 630 meters, and a medium X pulse at four, three, 330. So let's confirm this. It's five days. we got enough time to pull another mission off before the end of the month. We're eating up a lot of our C bills here, but... get these guys done here okay thank you contracts let's find a good good one here we'll split the um, covert surveillance might be a good one here um, pirate facility let's not go with a big one just yet we want to get some sea bills for this month so let's generate some C bills this way. Search denial is a battle. 627 salvage. This is actually let's negotiate this and go right up the middle. 314, Let's go this route. Deploy our standard lance and get this done. Okay, here we go. Let's go find these guys. What are we looking at here? Who knows? Looks like a Centurion. Or a uh, Yenlo Wang or something like Or a Phoenix. I don't know. I can't even tell from here. I got bad eyes. Alright, so let's... Yeah, I know. I'm a, I'm a video editor. I got bad eyes. It's a really good comment, eh? I got a great sense of cutting. Got a great sense of color. But my focus isn't quite that good. Not where it used to be anyway. Not when I need three pairs of glasses. Yes, Commander. I still got another 15 years before I retire, so... Commander? I'm sure I'll be blind by then. Okay, so this is actually quite better than it was. Let's find out. We're going to stand here in um, the rough terrain, uh, making ourselves unstable just to piss some people off. <laughs> I'm always good like that. So, um, how do we want to do this? I think we want to reserve. I don't think we want to move in close just yet. Got to be careful how much we reserve, though. Um, okay, we got some sensors on. Fire starter. An archer. So was the was I wonder if it was the archer we saw. Yeah. So I'm glad I changed those weapons out. Running extremely cool here. We haven't tried the medium the uh, medium X pulse, but I love the fact that we're not generating any heat at range. ER large laser is a bonus to have on. Clan either medium pulses. So this was a good upgrade. Okay. Looks like he's been narked or tagged or something or othered. So let's reserve Baba Yaga. I want to see if they're going to move in here. Yes, Commander. Probably all waiting for me. Copy that, Commander. Let's get a shot we've got eyes on now. You know what it is? I'm just used to the archer being a lot fatter, I guess. But I guess it really isn't. When you look at the model, God, they did such a great job porting this over. Okay, I'm going to throw another plug out for these guys because they have done such a wonderful job bringing these mechs over. Um, and I know it's a it's a kind of a shameful plug, but um, on the Rogue Tech site, there is an option to um, donate to the, to the uh, mod makers. If you can, 
I'm not saying you have to do it, obviously. Of course, it's just always an option. But if you can, donate something to these guys because they have, and girls, I don't mean to, uh, to take away from um, anybody that's been working on this. Donate to the people that have been working on this. It's probably the best way to say it. Um, because they've done such a wonderful job. And if you think about it, even if you donate, like, let's say 10 bucks, it's still less than the price of a movie for all the entertainment that you get for playing this. So anything will help them. All right. Think about all the time they spent, too. Like, that's the incredible thing, right? I got nothing but nothing but um, uh, admiration for these people. They've done s such a great job. All right. Now that those uh, the shameless plug has been said, I'm, I'm not obviously a developer, so <laughs> I'm not getting anything for it, but... You know, other than the enjoyment and entertainment of this. It's just so wonderful. Okay, guys. You know what it is? They're not moving because they bet you there's reinforcements. You're going to melee? Suicide! For 22 points. You suicided for 22 points. Ready for orders. This guy didn't even move. Let's save the uh, missile attack. Leave the A-pod off because we don't need it. I don't think we're going to need the fluid gun on this either. I want to save some ammo just in case there's guys up on the hill. There may only be two guys here. That's it. I don't know. Tag, you're it. I was hoping for a CT hit there. Well, I almost punched straight through it. What are you using? Uh, okay. That's weird. I didn't adjust the camera. I'm really hoping that that's all there is. I really am. Okay, let's kill this guy. You have elected the way of pain! Um, yeah. So, let's go for parts off this guy. I'd love to get an archer. Archer was one of my favorite mechs, just because of the look of it. I love the archer for the look. I love the rifleman for the look. But really, I mean, they really <laughs> weren't all that awesome of mechs. They were good enough, but... When we played the very first game, um, I started off with, I think it was a Shadowhawk. Was it a Shadowhawk I had to start with? I think so. AC5, LRM5, medium laser, and something or other. Pretty sure that's all I had to start with. But I always love the look of the riflemen. I always love the look of the, uh, um, the archers. Uh, let's go with all this. And fire. Um, sorry, Megasaur, but we're not going to punch this guy today. 52, huh? Um, I don't want a pot shot. I want to go after this leg, please. Let's get the acid gun on him. If we can. Okay, we got a leg hit, looks like. Cannot see very well. Oh, he's got arrow systems. That's got to be arrow systems. Uh, that was my left arm. Two missile systems down. <sighs> Damn it. Back to LK, please. Go for the leg. Okay, there's the left leg. Yeah, they've only got two guys. Standing by. Well, this guy's not going to get to shoot again. Um, uh, 
I know we really don't need it right now, but we should. Well, that's still 52% chance for the leg at 85. So, yeah, we might get some good leg hits here. We'll see. He'll be shut down anyway. He's going to spend the rest of this match shut down. I don't know if those were arrows, but they were sure as hell something. Something deadly. Uh, do we want to move? Probably not. And firing. Okay, pretty close, I think, to getting that leg. Yep. Uh, how confident do you feel you can take that leg off? One good hit. I think you could do it. Let's fire. I'm receiving you. A little good chunk in the torso. Let's go here. Let's go with these guys. Taking the shot. Only got one hit, eh? Don't move. Gives us the best chance. ER large can come off. I don't know, guys. I think we can. I think we need to. Of course not. Yeah, you. Every time. If I used one, we wouldn't have got it. If I used two, we'd just destroy too much. Okay, this better have been worth the trade-off. Six hundred and twenty-seven thousand. That's going to be a long time before that mech is back, though. I think I still got a double, couple of double pluses. I'm not sure if I use them someplace else. Man, arrow four system, yep. We want the archer parts of the arrow four. Command console. Plus one initiative. Plus two initiative for all lance units. Hunter base lance sight distance. Plus two accuracy with indirect fire. Increased resolve gain for lance members. It's six tons though. Jesus, you really gonna just do this to me, aren't you? Don't we've already got one of these loaded up in one of our mechs, so we don't need it. We don't need that. Arrow for Inferno ammo? Five shots of arrow ammo. Uh. You know, if this was later in the game, I definitely would say let's go for the arrow system. But I'm going to do this. Get a start on getting that. Well, let's get two. And take that command console. I don't know how often we're going to see these guys. I do want an archer. It's really sad that it's an arrow system that we're leaving behind. But I don't have like 19 tons. Or oh, Sorry, it's only 15. 60, I don't have 16 tons in a mech to drop this in to only have five shots. Plus or minus 45 damage. Cannot be intercepted by AMS. Recoil of 3. <sighs> I'm sure we'll get opportunities to pick it up later. But let's go this route. Okay, we got all of the archer parts. And the arrow. The triple plus flamer that we wanted. The light uh, engine, which we can use for sure. And the arrow ammo. <laughs> Horseshoes. Okay, you know what's sad? is that this this battle with two mechs in it did more real damage to my lance than that last battle with four vehicles and six omni mechs well it's only six days but we still got to get the missile systems and everything back in so uh we got to get through the financial report so let's sell a couple things let's go to the store uh well, not Jack. What? Oh, oh God! I just did that. Oh, painful. Say, so let's sell two of these. 
Uh, ER Smalls, are we going to use them? We'll have a chance to get some later if we need them, but we don't need them right now. ER Mediums, just to sell three. That should get us through the day. Uh, uh, regular large lasers. Don't think we're going to be using larges for a while if we end up using them at all. Uh, let's get rid of the LRM5 we just bought and took a loss on. Uh, I can sell a couple of mediums. So we're okay for for now. We need some for repair costs too. So let's just see if there's anything else we can get rid of here that we don't need right away. Clan Plasma Cannon we've got. Uh, let's hang on to it. We might use it. Regular small lasers we don't need. Uh, small pulse we're probably never going to use. Serum 4s. Got to hang on to the 6s just in case we need to drop them in as backup. Command console, we're going to keep, oh man, pirate engine I haven't got in yet. I tried fitting it in the uh, the uh, Flamehawk to get it an extra speed, but it didn't give us any bonus really, so the plus 10% weapon he generated wasn't really enough and the engine slots reserved, um, so I just left it out. Uh, we probably use it somewhere else, but not, not right now. Don't think there's anything else down here we can get rid of. Uh... Yeah, let's just, yeah, that's going to be it. So let's, um, what mech has got the triple pluses? We had another mech. I think it's the Raven, the Raptor, that's got the triple pluses. No, it's got the clans. Crab? We don't have any more triple pluses? I thought we had more. Now I gotta rethink the build, damn it. I guess we could just put regular SRM6s in for now, which is what we'll do. You know what I'm thinking of? Um, we have two triple pluses in, uh, uh, valuable contribution, world ends, uh, yeah, of course we are. We'll make a valuable contribution wherever we go. I'm thinking it's um, Jade Falcon Freeborn. We've got two triple plus SRM6s I've got kicking around. Of course you got the financial report. You're always prompt with that. Here's your pay. Don't get drunk. Um, let's have a quick look at what we can do here. Now I think we do have a double plus targeting system. Yeah, that's uh, not much that can be done about that. Man, that was crazy damage. Okay, we do have a, a weapon mount here somewhere. It's plus two, not plus three, but no biggie. And let's move the bonus SRM6s to the arms. And let's just grab a couple of SRM6s here and drop them in. They're not going to really give us what we want, but... Or we could go with a four and a two. Because we got room for them. Um, let's do that instead. Give us a little bit of extra damage and a little bit of crit chance. Not much, but a little bit. So let's go this route. Uh, let's stick the, the, the big bonus SRM4 in this torso. So if we lose this side, it's not so bad. Actually, if we're going to do that then... Let's do this. Where's, oh yeah, the other restaurant four dropped out. Wait, no, it was a six. Derp, there we go. All right, so let's confirm this, six days. I'll have to deal with it. I know this is a risky build. It's a huge risky build, but it, you know, like I said, you get point blank with this thing with dead fire ammo and it's a hammer. It's a freaking hammer. 28 rounds, doing it up to 14 damage eats. It's crazy. So, um, let's just get this. Uh, stock LRM, eh? Yeah, keep working at it. Yeah. Plus one damage. Okay, cool. I want to get into a LRM build at some point. 
but I'm almost thinking we need to wait to, for clan LRMs to really make it worthwhile. Okay, one more mission and then we can cancel this or finish this episode up. So let's have a look here. We're not doing so well with funds. <laughs> we're back to where we were a month ago. But we do have new gear. We lost some gear, got some new gear. Uh, lost contact. Um, outworldly enforces. Kind of allied with these guys right now. Capturing production, capture base, ghost bear base. Okay, let's just do this one. Full salvage. Let's hope for some clans um, engines here. We do have one sitting in the in the uh, storage, but uh, I don't want to just get rid of all of them. All right, so let's deploy. All right. Okay, chances are Lance in front. Base, Lance behind. Doesn't look like it though. Could just be turrets. Uh, I feel pretty confident about this. Nope, I'm not. Shit. That was bad. 70 tons. Gremlkin. Zeal. Damn it. That was really, really bad. Oh, okay. Fast shit, fast shit power armor. Fast she? No, 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 you want to miss. That could have been a hell of a lot worse. But it's going to be a hell of a lot worse for this guy because I'm pissed now. What's up, buddy? Um, so let's go with the SRM2 in acid mode. Hopefully we hit with one. Firing. Yeah, it looks like we got both of them. Want to play the fucking game, buddy? We can play the fucking game. Shoot him. Damn it, we could lose that mech. Jesus, what was I thinking? I would have thought I would have seen like a thing here saying there was a lance but it is ghost bear though they are kind of ghosty wow I flipped the camera all the way around really that was impressive for Got it. let's see if we can blow this guy over with flamers uh, I'm gonna increase the chance to hit on this and damage let's see if we can nail him with the plasma cannon yep there it is folks You want to backstab? That's what happens. Well, we took a head hit when we fell, I guess. Okay, at least they're shooting at my other max now. Well, this guy's going to go like last next turn, so we're going to move in and hammer all three of these guys. I was just thinking I should shoot this guy with all my missiles. Um, let's not give him my back. Going to switch out the dead fire. And go this route. We want to have a four with acid just in case. We want to make sure we hit with at least one. And we're going to target this guy and fire. Okay, we got a couple acid hits on him. Nice. Ah, oh, man. 
Hopefully these guys don't have a second lance, because that's pretty bad. My guess is they're going to have a second lance, though. Remember what happened last time. Roger. Full speed. Gonna do this. This first guy's got acid on him. So see if we can inflict a little bit more damage with the acid. Not much, but and then we'll tag this other guy up here. Hopefully. God, I must suck being in the power armor. I was being last to battle. Alright, we leave the plasma cannon off, fire the rest. Okay, minus five initiative next round. That's all I really care about. Looks like we got a head hit on him. So let's see, let's see if we can't leg this guy. Sorry, girl, I put you in a bad position. That's my fault. At least they didn't keep targeting you. Regained footing. Good to go. Position my mech is limping. Yeah, I know. So's my ego. Uh let's chaff this guy. Alright, we got one. Nice. He's going first anyway, but at least he's minus one to hit. Nice. If you back up, you're hanging your guys out to dry. Because this guy on the left is going to die horribly. He just stood there. He just stood there. Dude, you just stood there. Gonna walk it to get our stability back. Same targeting system, but we're dumping it all in this guy. Receiving you. Aye, aye. Uh, yep. Nicely done. Okay. Got a chance to get his engine. I'm here. I'm still reading oh, shut up. God damn it. You need to secure, the area before you can proceed. You need to secure that shit. Wow. Yeah, let's see if we can take that torso. Firing. Okay, shitty power armor. Commander. Holy crap! I'm wounded. Nice fucking head hit, dude. Want to play with the bull, though? Do you want to play? We can play. Hostile 
Pesky, but not hard to kill. Uh, why'd you let him power up, girl? Can you power him down again, please? Oh, okay, he's powered down permanently. Sure is. Let's just hang out here, though. Let's not get, get too far up. Megasaur is pretty much done this battle, unless something closes with her. Wow, I can't believe I ran into that. Receiving you. Moving out. That was basically a fuck you to your tactics. What that was. I'm picking up a new sensor of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforcements. I don't see them. Okay, we got a vehicle. Bologna. Bellana. I call it Bologna. I know it doesn't have a G, but Bologna. Okay, what do we got, Stormcrow? Do a little bit of a moonwalk. I don't know, Red Comet. I think he's looking a little cold over there. Can you go warm him up? He's looking like he's pretty cold over here. All right. Oh, and Orion, Kerr. Uh, yeah, let's warm this guy up. <laughs> How's that? He's toasty enough now, I think. I think you warmed him up just enough. I'm concerned about this. Going to save my warlord, though. We're going to target this guy. And go with the standard loadout. Maybe we get some acid on him as well, but we're going to fire. Didn't expect a lot, but we did get acid on him. Alexander. It's Alexander. Damage minimal. You're missing the E, buddy. Waiting for orders. Roger that. Uh, yep. A lot of leg hits. Nicely done. Yeah, man. Archer. Okay. As long as it's not a fucking arrow -cher. I don't know what the hell else to call it. An arrow -cher? Sounds about right. I did an offensive push on this guy last time, didn't I? When I shouldn't have? I did, didn't I? I totally did. No idea what this guy's got. I think we're going to get as good a shot as this is, so let's take it. Firing. I like them apples. Not a lot of damage on him. He's got a lot of armor, but still, that leg is almost gone. Standing by. I think you need to reserve. No, I don't think you do. I'm here. I think that would be a mistake. Let's get over here. Let's show this guy why we're here. Um, yeah. Not just for the more damage, but for the better chance to hit. Fire it all. Critical hit, Commander. You have to think about how he's using his, using his weapons next turn. 
How you much you got left here? Not that much. Position confirmed. Uh, let's see this off, but we're gonna fire everything else into this guy's leg. Uh, yep. Okay. Look at this guy melting still over here. God, I love that. I love when they you you melt them down, they die, and they're still melting. I mean, it must be a horrible way to go. Being melted alive in a cockpit. Damn, good shooting, man. Ah, oh, you jammed your ultra, though. Shit, he's going on 17. What is... Ah, uh, we're going... <gasps> nice shot. Warning. Armor low. Well, he's going to gain some stability back. Not going to help, though. This archer is what I'm worried about. It's archer C, okay. Alright, as long as he's not launching friggin' arrow systems at us, Ready for order. I feel a little better. Now, we try to plank the head or go for the leg? 9% for the head. Let's go for the leg. And firing. Shit. Damn it. It's like a fucking chess game. Standing by. Copy that. Got no choice. Let's do this. Wow, almost no, like, really. Alright, we're taking a big risk here, but we're going to do this. And... yep. Enemy mech destroyed. Worship me. Quick step in it. Okay. Sorry guys, there. I was just holding my breath. I was just hoping that was going to work, because I was just terrified that they were going to... Uh, we weren't going to kill him, and then he was going to use the, uh, wow. Reporting, critical hit. Reporting melted mech warrior. Uh, I thought for sure he was going to get a back shot on us. Comes that archer. Okay, I'm liking the fact that we got the mask on that griffin now. It's made a huge difference in mobility. The flame hawk has become extremely Good useful now. I mean, it was useful before, but it's even more useful now. So both flame hawk and wolverine are going to go after the archer. Bushwhacker is going to take the vehicle, and hopefully Megasaur can finish this guy up. Probably not. Nope. We don't have the ability to do it. But he's got to get up. He's going to be inaccurate anyway. Stop shooting me. At least your ultra's jammed. Order. 
Let's stay away from that archer. Because he can be dangerous. Let's just hide behind the hill. And we'll target this guy going after the leg again. Fire. He's panicking though. Okay. That vehicle is going to go before us. Okay, change of plans. Uh, I wish you could tell how much armor he has. I think shooting him is probably going to net me some more damage than what stepping on him will. So, yep. Not enough, though. Not enough. <sighs> Shit. Oh my god. Standing by. Wow, okay. Machine guns are empty. Affirmative. Man. <sighs> Hope we didn't lose that mech. We're on the wrong planet for milk runs. Standing by. The wrong planet for milk runs. Nope, I gotta stay here. Heading out. Let's hope we get lucky. Firing. Roger. deal with this problem first and let's go up to the leg fire All right. ready for orders ninety four percent for 94 damage on the front. Is that going to be enough? It's got at least 75, maybe 100 points on the front. Okay, well, are you serious? Not one of those could hit the leg.
I'm glad I moved. Come on, man. Get me that leg. Get me the leg. Taking it off a point at a time. Systems holding. Waiting for orders. Do this. Waiting for orders. Roger that. Same thing, let's go. There we go. Target eliminated. God, this is such a tricky mission. Well, finally we got a three skull mission that's definitely worthy of a three skull. I'd love to say that that back shot was a lucky back shot, but he did have two turns on me, not much I could do about it. I guess we can't step on these guys, eh? Affirmative. Sure. My flamer is ready. Yeah. That's all this guy can do is stand up. Do this. Jeez. Give us a bit better chance to hit. Not quite enough. I'm receiving you. Can't let this ultra shoot. Just can't do it. That's fine. All right, let's move. Fire everything. As much as we don't need that, we do need it. Firing. Fire okay, finally. Crawler destroyed. That guy gave us a lot of problems. Yeah, I got chaff on him. Nice. Alright, let's strip the leg off this guy and go home. Let's go. So we already have four archer parts. Receiving you. Actually, no. We're just going to shoot him. 
I want to shut him down. My flamer is empty. That's fine. Ready for orders. He's pretty much done for now, anyway. There it is, folks. Let's hope we didn't lose that mech. Mission successful. All right, that's a really lousy payout. God, well, only one wound on Babiaga though. Yeah, uh, engine light engine gone, main engine gone. The light engine we can we can replace. That's, oh, he lost one of the Jade Talons, too, in the Griffin. But we have Talons to replace it with. Not as good, but still okay. Man, I hope we don't lose that mech. Lost the Bushwhacker will be awful. We got four salvage, so... Uh, don't know if that's going to make a difference. I don't think the Clan Archer will work with the other one. Uh, look at all the parts here. ATM nines. You know the one thing yes, I don't think we did lose it because in here it would give us the option to recover it and it does not. Which means we didn't lose it. Okay. Let's hope we pick up an archer off this because if we didn't all that for nothing. Alright, let's hope. Okay, four hundred parts. One, two of those, uh, whatever they were. One, two, three, Onaker parts. Uh, Stormcrow, Uziel, Uziel, Clan Medium, uh, MRM twenty. Wow, XL Engine Clan. Okay, well we got something half decent. Okay, let's have a look here. Two hundred thirty-four thousand. So the money we made pretty much goes out for repairs. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Oh my god, and we didn't get the the archer. I guess the archers, I guess they're not compatible. So for an episode that was designed to uh, make sea bills, it uh, definitely didn't work out. Um, <laughs> so let's get the mechs back that we need to repair internal components next. So we'll bring those up. Uh, Flame Hawk and Wolverine. Um, we do have a flamer we can swap out, swap out, swatch, bleh, switch out in the in the uh, um, flame hawk. So I am going to sell some stuff. I'm probably going to sell both those Clan XL engines just to be able to make it through this financial report because we're not going to be back in time by the end of the month. There's just no way, not with all the other repairs we have to do. So yeah. Um, Overall, though, the missions were actually pretty good. If I hadn't made that stupid mistake of rushing in on that on the uh, that last mission, um, I just did not think... Uh, practice while you recover. Nice. Um, if I hadn't rushed in like that, it may have been way different. Uh, would we have been able to pull down that uh, clan melee mech? Um, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. We may have been able to. Um, I, it's hard to say. Uh, I'll worry about fixing these guys up after. We'll get them back into condition before the next episode. I know this was a long episode, but uh, I think it was definitely worth it. I'll be doing the same thing with uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. Try to take three missions to see if we can get some sea bills before the uh, we get updated to 1.5 uh, or 999 Rogue Tech. Um, yeah, so uh, if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.